MC fans returning to Scotland Yard this season will see a few new faces around the baseball diamond. Coach Washburn has brought in 13 JUCO transfers who will make a significant impact on the 2010 season. Last season, the Scots set the standard with 22 wins, defeating two ranked teams before sweeping the GSAC tournament for a championship win. After graduating eight seniors at the close of 2009's season, Coach Washburn searched for new blood to add depth to a team with high expectations. When you lose the number of seniors that we did, um, you've got to have some guys that are that are prepared to play. Um, mm -hmm. I thought we had a good group of returning players, but I think that we needed to add some specific things and add some guys that had some experience. When it first happened, I was a little little uh, sketchy about it. Yeah. But they come in, they work as hard or harder than anyone else. They're all good guys. They've added uh, a nice personality to the team, and they're fun to be around. So they've really added an element to our team, and I enjoy them. Among the Scots graduating seniors, five were pitchers, including both weekend starters and some of the bullpen. Hoping to replace those arms, Washburn has taken on eight new pitchers to compete for these vacated positions along with the returns. I think that we've just got a nice diverse group of guys that um, they're going to fill a role and that's key because you can't have a bunch of starters and you can't have a bunch of relievers. You've got to have guys that are going to do both and, uh, and do it well and, and we're not going to be successful unless we can fill all those roles. Our coaches uh, theory is if we do, if we keep five earned runs or less, if we give up that many runs every outing, then we'll, we should win. Washburn is confident that the current lineup has the ability to compensate for the loss of former Scott Ben Peters, one of the biggest batters in MC history. This season's lineup is expected to bring speed and be more dynamic. One, two, and three can run. Seven, eight, nine can run. Mm -hmm. um, the, the first three or four guys off the bench can run. Yeah. Um, so you, you put that around, uh, you know, four, five, and six, which are Kyle Sprezak, Jamie Davis, and, and Josh Michaelanis. Mm -hmm. um, you know, those three guys, you know, quite as fleet of foot in the middle. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, in front of them, behind them, we can run a little bit. Looking forward to maintaining the momentum of last season's success, the Scots all seem to have a common goal in mind. I want to go out and win at least 30 ball games. I mean, I do. I, I'm not a person that likes to look at paper and say, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. I want to go out and take it one game at a time and go from there. But I, th I think we've got a good ball club. Uh, you know, this is probably one of the best, as far as team chemistry, is probably one of the best teams we've had. Everybody get along. Everybody understand what they're supposed to do. Everybody wanting to be on the same track as far as that. I just can't applaud the guys enough because they've handled themselves with, uh, with a lot of class, uh, a lot of courage. and. Uh, I'm just really proud of them because they've, they've demonstrated a great attitude, and, uh, and that's what you need to get going the season, and I expect them to continue that. The Scots split their opening series before inclement weather postponed several contests, but Coach Washburn and his club are looking forward to the challenge of reaching the 30-win mark.